Hey everybody, welcome on into the Big Access Podcast. On this week's episode, I am really excited to be talking all about government and municipalities with my good friend Larry Settler here. Uh, Larry was one of those guys who was brought up uh, and brought to my attention that we had to talk with. Uh, as soon as I would presented this idea to Scott Nelson, who is one of our regional sales directors out there, he immediately jumped up. He's like, Larry's the guy, Larry's the guy. And I'm like, calm down, Scott, calm down. But uh, here we are anyways, very excited to talk with Larry today all about PDK and how it works works really well in government and municipality areas. So Larry, thanks a ton for taking the time to join us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Well, before we get going, I want to learn a little bit more about Anuvo and who you guys are, what you guys are all about. So if you don't mind kind of introducing yourself and Anuvo, that would be fantastic. Great. Again, thanks for having me on today. My name is Larry Sattler. I'm the vice president here at Anuvo. We are a systems integrator and we have two office locations. Our corporate headquarters is located in Weston, Florida, suburb of Fort Lauderdale. And we have an office in Atlanta as well, covering the Atlanta metro area. I am out of the Atlanta office, but I oversee the operations for both the Atlanta and the Fort Lauderdale office. We have been in business since 1995, providing full service uh, integration for all types of low voltage products ranging from data cabling, copper and fiber optics, audio visual systems, and of course, the reason we're here today, security products, which include alarms, cameras, and most importantly, access control systems. Yeah, I like that most importantly that you threw on there. Oh, you know, ultimately, that's I, I, I'm biased, very, very biased, but I love the access control side of the things. So ultimately, why does Anuvo choose to partner with ProDataKey? We've been working with Pro Data Key now for about three years. Uh, there's some a lot. There's a lot of things about the Pro Data Key product that are extremely attractive to myself, and I'm sure other dealers as well as our clients. Uh, the first and most important thing is for us is the technology behind it. Having a cloud-based system is super important for us and our clients, especially in today's environment. Everybody's moving to a cloud-based environment. Nobody wants to have to build these big MDF and IDF server rooms mm -hmm. and build and maintain servers. They want that job to be done by somebody else. And that's where PDK really does a great job. It eliminates the need for a Nuvo to constantly be maintaining, updating software for Windows computers, uh, constantly updating or keeping up with the customer's need for software updates and upgrades. It's really a seamless environment in that everything is sitting in the cloud. The customer has access to their system from wherever they are in the world. And we never have to worry about software expiring. We never have to worry about whether their server's up to date. We know that in PDK's hands, the server that's running them in the cloud is always updated, always has the latest and greatest software, and always has new features added to it without us having to do anything. Man, do you, do you need a job on the sales team? You just <laughs> That was really good, man. You, you just had a great pitch right there and talking all about basically what makes PDK so great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and, and besides all the amazing technology behind PDK, the second most important thing for us is the price point. And hey, there you go. when when you look at the PDK's price point as compared to other players in the access control world, they are on par or less expensive than pretty much any other solution, especially if you're comparing it to on-prem solutions. And if you're comparing it even to other cloud-based solutions, I have yet to find a product that provides a better feature set at a better price point. Bang for your buck, right? That's what 100%. it. Uh, I, I am one of those guys who, no matter what I'm doing, I have to go out there and research and find how am I going to get the best bang for your, my buck? And that's ultimately why I feel like I fit in so well here at PDK is because I do feel like for you know what you're getting out of it, you can't ask for a better price point. 100% agree. And we do a lot of, we spend a lot of time vetting the products that we use. We're not quick to adopt new products. We're not quick to change vendors. When we pick a product, we want to stick with it for a long time. We want all of our sales engineers, our design engineers, our technicians, our tech support people to basically be subject matter experts on all of the things that we sell. And the only way to do that is to find a product that works really well, adopt it, make it your go-to, lead with that product with all your customers, build up a big customer base using that product and allow all of my staff to become experts. Hey, I like that. Find something, get good at it and roll with it. So love it, man. That's, that's awesome, Larry. And, you know, ultimately I wanted to chat with you a little bit more about 
how you guys use PDK in government and municipalities. And you were talking all about the cloud-based features and the cloud-based benefits. Um, but ultimately, why do you feel like those are all really good for municipality environments? Yeah, municipalities to me are sort of a unique animal in that they kind of encompass every type of vertical market out there because mm -hmm. a municipality really has everything. They've got police, they've got fire, They've got government buildings, they've got courtrooms, they've got corporate headquarters, they've got facilities departments. So when you look at the landscape of a municipality, they are almost running a dozen to 20 different little mini businesses. They and are. They really are. And it's a lot of work for the IT team to support all of those little mini businesses and anything that we can provide to the IT people within the municipality that makes their life easy in managing the security of all of their buildings, that's why we go with PDK. There's a lot of reasons, some of them being that we talked about it being cloud-based. We've got some municipal customers who have a great uh, fiber optic infrastructure where all of their facilities are connected uh, via network, via VLANs, and they're able to stick a single cloud node in and have coverage for all their buildings. But then we also have the ability, especially now with your guys' new feature set, being able to support yes. multiple cloud nodes for a single customer. It now gives us the ability to expand those systems for municipalities beyond their infrastructure and their network to put them anywhere they have property, anywhere they have infrastructure. And all we need is an internet feed, and now we can give them one account. It's it's so slick and so simple and easy. Um, yeah, I love it, especially like you mentioned with the new 2.0 multi-site enhancements that have been added in where it is a synchronized database between all the cloud nodes. It's really, really a slick solution for those municipalities because you, you, you said it perfect. There's a bunch of different locations and it is like it's a bunch of different uh, little businesses all running under one roof. Yeah, so. and each one of them has their own unique needs. So some of the other features that the municipalities really like, Bluetooth. Everybody wants to go with Bluetooth credentials. Nobody wants to issue cards and fobs anymore, especially yep. when you have a city where everything is spread out. You have lots of people who need lots of access to lots of different buildings around the way. You have a lot of turnover, people being hired, people being let go, and it makes it real easy on the IT department to be able to issue new credentials to somebody that doesn't even ever have to come to their office. Simply <laughs> send them their uh, link, give them their access rights, and they're off to the races. So it makes deploying new people and obviously taking away people who don't belong in the system anymore really easy for the customer yeah absolutely why do you ultimately think that municipalities need to make sure that security is a priority for them yeah so obviously we're living in a world now where you know there's a lot of threats out there uh, municipalities are really considered critical infrastructure we've got water treatment plants we've got electrical we've got all types of things police like we talked about courtrooms there's a lot of security needs for those types of facilities. And the best and only way that the municipalities are seeing keeping those secure is to get all of those buildings locked down with some sort of electronic access control. They don't want keys. They don't want to keep track of keys. They don't want to change out lock sets. They don't want to do any of those things. And really having access control, especially a cloud-based system like PDK, resolves all of those issues. It really does. I mean, it ultimately resolves those issues, makes everything much more convenient, and delivers a lot of time savings uh, with their operations. So Yeah, I, I mean, that. these guys have so much to do throughout the day. The last thing they want is their security bogging them down and keeping them busy all day when they have so many other things they have to do to keep the city running. Yeah, you're not kidding there. So when when you are going out and you know, I understand you guys have you guys uh, specialize in a lot of municipalities and you guys have done quite a few there. But what when you're going and you're looking for municipalities to bid out, what does that process usually look like for you guys at Anuvo? So, I mean, there's a few different ways that we go about it. Uh, there's the traditional way when a, a city puts out an RFP looking to either install uh, access control infrastructure and or upgrade their existing access control infrastructure. There certainly is a lot of legacy access control out there that municipalities are losing or are using that are that are old, uh, that don't meet the current needs in the current environment. So the IT directors are always looking for a way to upgrade that. So uh, we do a lot of relationship building. There are associations for IT directors for municipalities, places where you can really get yourself in front of these people and show them how a cloud-based access control system can really change their entire security infrastructure. 
Yeah. Oh man, dude, that is so cool. Uh, when when you guys do go and win those bids, uh, you know, you guys go out there and do the installations. What type of controllers and, and hardware are you generally installing? It sounds like you're doing Bluetooth, but uh, tell me how you go about addressing the specific needs of every application. Yeah, I mean, the great thing about PDK is they have a wide array of both credentials and readers. Uh, you know, with wireless reading, with gate readers, with the ability to do simple access or more advanced features like Bluetooth or, um, you know, uh, credentials that have better protection than the old 26-bit uh, Wigan that, that everybody can copy at Home Depot nowadays. Yeah. Uh, you know, PDK has really done a good job of providing a more secure solution um, at, with, you know, that's what everybody's looking for. They want, yeah. it, they want it to be simple and they want it to be secure. and PDK hits both of those on, on the nose. It couldn't have said that any better. Uh, my next question for you, I want to learn a little bit more about a municipality that you guys have installed and kind of hear from your, uh, your take on what you guys had to do at it, why they love it, and ultimately how they are operating the entire access control system there. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, we've uh, most recently worked with the city of Noonan, which is a municipality in Georgia. And they have adopted PDK based on our recommendation for all of their facilities. They're in the process of replacing all their old legacy access control systems. They really had a mishmash. So they literally did not have one system that was across the entire infrastructure of the city. Uh, because all of their stuff was done over such a long period of time, they had some buildings that had access control brand A some buildings that had access control brand B, some buildings that had access control brand C, and they really had very little control over all those systems. So some of their pain points was centralizing everything so that they could have one central database for the entire city. So PDK accomplished that by you know allowing all of the buildings to talk back to one single cloud node and give them full control. They also had scenarios where they had some departments that needed to be able to have control over their system. So we were able to provide them with partitioning so that there were departments who could control just their doors and issue credentials for just their people without having to bother the IT department every time they had somebody coming or going. So that was an important feature to them. The Bluetooth was an important feature to them. They wanted to get rid of all the hard credentials. They didn't want a situation where a police officer could drop a key fob in a parking lot by accident and have somebody accidentally pick that up and gain access to any building within the municipality. So by going from hard credentials to Bluetooth credentials, they were able to resolve all of those security risks of losing a key or a fob or a card and having somebody who shouldn't have it get access. Oh, I love it. That's so cool and such a great application and a great testament to the reason why everything is moving from physical credentials, like you said, towards more of those mobile credential experiences. I mean, nobody loses their phone anymore, right? That phone is always glued to our body. It's basically a fifth appendage now, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, when you think about it, you could lose a card or a key fob and not realize it until the next time you need to use it. Yeah. That's not happening with a phone. No, you know, your phone's gone within 60 seconds of your phone being gone. <laughs> Have you ever run into those situations where you're sitting there looking for your phone and it's just in your hand? You're like using the flashlight to look for your phone. <laughs> Absolutely done that. It's like yeah. looking for your glasses and they're on the top of your head. Bingo. Exactly. I once had a, uh, I, uh, my wife once told me a story about one time she was on the phone with her friend and her friend was starting to freak out and be like, Hey, where's my phone? And my wife's like, how am I supposed to know? <laughs> so one of those situations that, you know, that phone is just, we're so attached to it now. It's just part of us. So it's good to see that access control is going that same way. Absolutely. I mean, the world is modernizing. Everybody's looking to simplify, to centralize and to secure everything, whether it's data, whether it's a building, and PDK fits right into that mode in allowing them to just make everything centralized and everything simple yes. and really never have a fear that someone's going to lose a card or lose a fob and end up in a building. And, and they have a lot of situations where they might need to issue somebody a credential at an off hour. You couldn't do that before without getting yeah. a call at eight o'clock at night on a Saturday and getting in your car and going to your office and getting a key fob out of your drawer and programming it into the system and getting it for the person. Now the IT director gets a call. He goes on his phone. He goes into the PDKIO app. 
He issues the credential, sends the Bluetooth credential, and boom, that person's in the building in, in literally two minutes. So quick and easy. So quick and easy, right? And you can do it all from your couch. Doesn't matter where you're at, and you're you're set. And so I yeah. love. And, and it's so easy to do that. Even a lot of our customers, especially the ones that are more savvy, that have a real IT department, they're able to pick up the programming on it so quickly that the last job that I did for the city, I we finished the system. We had it all installed. I emailed the IT director and I said, okay, we're ready to schedule your training. My trainer's ready for you. Let me know a couple of dates and times that work for you. He's like, yeah, we already figured it out. It's, it's so easy. I don't even, we don't even need the training. No, that is perfect because you, you, that's spot on, right? That is one of the coolest things about PDK. And the thing that I noticed when I moved from distribution over here to PDK was the reason why I knew PDK was going to be successful and it was going to grow big is because it is so dang easy to understand. This is something that an end user who has never had any access control experience in their life can get in there and feel like they are an access control expert in 10 to 15 minutes on their own. They don't need that handholding. And it's not one of those systems that does take, you know, three days to train and then it all goes way over their head and they forget it immediately and have to call you every time they need an issue. It's not that way. No, and it's been great for us on the install side as well. It used to be where I maybe had one or two technicians who specialized in programming an access control system because they were so complex and the learning curve was so long. Any one of my techs can program a PDK system. Yeah. It's and it, and it really totally. took a matter of, of, like you said, five to 10 minutes of showing them what to do to get them rocking and rolling. Oh, I loved it. I love to hear that. That is so good. Well, Larry, we are just about out of time to uh, on this week's episode of the Big Access Podcast, but I wanted to thank you a ton for coming on, jumping on this episode, talking with us all about municipalities and why they ultimately benefit from having PDK. Uh, you've been a great conversation. Uh, you know, it's been a great guest. I've loved it. Um, thank you a ton. Please feel free to uh, to reach out anytime you need anything, but thank you a ton two-way street call me if you ever need a guest for something else i i get yeah. into everything municipalities are great but i got all kinds of stories no i love it i love it well you, you're very, you're very well spoken and telling these stories is uh, definitely something that sounds like you love to do so thank you I, do. I love i love this work and it's exciting to be part of it Good deal. Good deal. Well, for those of you who are watching this podcast or listening to it, be sure to subscribe to it. Give it a five-star rating and let us know if there's anything in particular that you're looking to learn and we'll make sure to add that into an upcoming episode. But thank you guys a ton for tuning in. We will talk to you next time.